On Crab Island, an unsettling phenomenon was unfolding. Where once the air buzzed with birdsong and the scurry of lizards, a deep hush had settled. Residents grew uneasy as the familiar sounds of wildlife faded. No birds, no creatures, only silence. The lively ecosystem that shaped their world was slipping away, replaced by a haunting stillness. The culprit was clear, a rampant invader known as the Strangler Vine. It coiled around ancient trunks, choking out sunlight and suffocating native growth. The once diverse jungle was now a monotonous sea of green, smothering all other life. The food chain unraveled. Plants, insects, birds, and reptiles vanished in its wake. Islanders fought back with machetes, but the vine's growth outpaced their efforts. The elders recognized this unnatural quiet as a warning, a symptom of something gravely wrong. Season after season, the strangler vine advanced, unstoppable and unyielding. The very spirit of the island was fading, and no solution was in sight. Exhausted and disheartened, the people began to lose hope. The silence pressed in, deepening the islanders' sense of despair. Unless something changed, their beloved island would be lost to the green invader forever. The mile a minute weed, also known as the strangler vine, was an unwelcome invader. It slipped onto the island by chance, and with no natural checks, it ran rampant. The vine choked out native vegetation, destroying the very base of the ecosystem. As the plants disappeared, so too did the butterflies, birds, and countless insects. What was once a thriving habitat became a monotonous, empty, green wasteland. Locals tried to fight back with machetes, but the vine always returned, stronger than before. Its roots burrowed deep, its seeds scattered everywhere, a tireless invader. When scientists arrived, they were stunned by the scale of destruction. Chemical solutions were too risky. A targeted, natural approach was needed. Their best hope, discover a natural enemy to stop the vine. And so, the quest for a savior began. The answer scientists landed on was unexpected. A minuscule weevil native to Asia. This little bug had one specialty, devouring the notorious mile-a-minute weed. Grown weevils munched away at the leaves, their larvae burrowed inside, wrecking the vine from the inside out. Years of careful research proved these weevils wouldn't threaten local plants. The strategy was set, raise millions of weevils and unleash them all over Crab Island. It was a daring, precise move, using nature's own warriors against the invader. Teams of volunteers and scientists trekked into the thick forests, hauling boxes filled with weevils. On the big day, they released the insects onto the vines at multiple sites across the island. The island's future now depended on these tiny, determined creatures. The method was straightforward, but the outcome would be critical. Soon, the air was alive with a new energy, an army with a single mission. The weevil's task, to reclaim Crab Island by wiping out the invader. The high-stakes experiment was underway. The day of the release arrived, stirring both excitement and unease. Whispers swept through the village. Some believed a swarm of wasps was about to descend. Most residents kept to their homes, wary of what might happen next. Meanwhile, scientists calmly set the weevils free, demonstrating there was nothing to fear. Gradually, curiosity drew people out as they saw the harmless insects up close. The weevils paid no attention to humans, intent only on the invasive vine. Children stared in amazement. Adults watched as their fear gave way to intrigue. The buzzing overhead no longer felt threatening. It was the hum of progress. Islanders soon understood these insects were here to help, not harm. The battle for the island's future had started, and hope began to bloom once more. Together, the community watched, united by a new sense of cautious hope. The transformation was striking. In just a few weeks, the mile-a-minute weed shriveled, its leaves chewed through by hungry weevils. The thick green shroud receded, letting sunlight once again touch the forest floor. Native seedlings pushed up from the earth, beginning to reclaim their territory. Butterflies fluttered, bees buzzed, lizards scurried, and birds returned as the ecosystem revived. Slowly, the forest's chorus of life returned. As their food vanished, the weevil numbers dropped naturally. Crab Island achieved a new equilibrium, restored, thriving, and full of life. The experience taught a powerful lesson. Nature is fragile, 
and our choices matter. Yet, when we collaborate with nature instead of fighting it, recovery is possible. The answer wasn't force, but a careful, natural intervention. Crab Island's revival is a story of optimism and a call to respect and work alongside the natural world.